welcome back guys so in this episode i'm going to be building the login screen and also the sign up screen so this screen has the login sign up screen and this is what we are going to build okay so the first thing i'm going to do is the last episode we created the color using um, the camelon framework so instead of typing this code several times what i'm going to do is just create a struct and have this code right there um, you know so i can follow that object oriented uh, principle that says you know we have to uh, do code reuse so um, object oriented uh, principle of programming encourages um, creation of classes and struct so that you can reuse your code and you know type less code so this is what i'm talking about i'm going to create a new group and i'll call it custom and i'll create a new file and it's going to be a swift file hit next and i'll name it custom color like that and i'll create all right so in this um, custom color uh, swift file i'm going to import camelon because that's the framework i'm going to be using and i'm going to create a struct named custom color all right so in this color i'm going to give it a uh, a variable that's a ui color so this variable is going to be the orange color that i will create so i'm going to go to the view controller and copy this uh, code from the camelon framework to create a gradient color and then um, for this struct it's going to have an initializer and init which is the first method that is going to be called all right and i'm going to paste it right there okay so in this init method um since the creation of the custom color using the camera framework requires a, a frame i'm going to give it a parameter named a frame like that and that frame is going to be a cg rect like that and when i initialize this color i want to set this orange variable to uh, this gradient color so i'm going to say orange is going to be that um, but it needs a frame so i'm going to give it this frame like that and save it so in this init method i just create the um, the orange color that's all so now i'm going to create a function and i'll say get orange color like that and this function is going to return a ui color like that so that i can just return the uh, orange once it's initialized i can just return it like this so this function gets uh, put a comment here gets the orange color okay all right okay so i'm going to go to my view controller uh, instead of typing all this i'm going to say view dot background color is equal to a custom color like that and i'm going to initialize it with a frame and the frame is going to be uh, view the frame like that and i'll say get orange color like that I'm going to test it and build it. All 
All right, that looks good. Okay, so uh, now I have a custom class color that you know that serves me for all the colors. So in case of anything, uh, you know, happening to the Camelon framework, I can just go to the custom class and write the code. And anytime I feel like changing the code, if I learn something new, I can go to the custom color and just change it that one place. And you know, I don't, I won't have to change it in the whole place in the project. All right. So let's start making the login and sign up screen. Let's go to the main storyboard. And what I'm going to do is uh, select this view controller here and uh, delete it like that. And I'm going to select this class, this view controller class, and I'll delete it and I'll move it to trash. Okay. So now I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to name it uh, view controllers like that. So in this group, I'm going to create a new file and that file is going to be a Cocoa Touch class. And it's going to be a subclass of uh, UI view controller like that. So I'm going to name this uh, class. I'm going to name it login sign up view controller like that. Hit enter. Hit create. And now I created this file myself. So I know I created this login sign up view controller myself. Okay, we don't even need this memory warning. Take it out and clean up all this. All right, so now go to the main or storyboard and I'm going to drag in a view controller from the object library like that and select this view controller. Go to the identity inspector, this one that looks like a newspaper, that one. And in the class, I'm going to say it's a Select login sign up view controller. That's the class I just created now. I just assign it to this um, this uh, view controller object I dropped here. Okay. So now this needs a label here. So go to the object library and type uh, UI label. And the label comes out. I'm going to drag it and drop it on the screen like that. Then go to the attribute inspector. I'm going to make the um, use, I'm going to use uh, the font, the system font, and I'm going to select the style to be heavy. And I'm going to make the size 38 like that. And hit done. And then hit the label. And then hit control and equal sign like that. And it comes up. And then I'll go to the. Um, the text here and I'm going to name it F L A V R like that. Enter. I'll come back to it, hit command equals and take out that one sign. That looks good. Okay. <clears throat> Looking good. All right. So this um, sketch file has um, at this right side, it shows you the properties of all the objects you select. So any object you select you know shows you the positions and all those things like that just like uh, we have here in the Xcode so for this flavor label I'm just gonna what I will do is just copy all these properties and make sure it's the same thing here and that way it's gonna be you know equal all right so for this flavor sign I have uh, that the position, the X position is 117, the Y